Hi, hello guys. Um, I've just got a new kit here that I wanted to unbox uh, for all those electronic fans out there. I uh, just got this new Fluke 289 or 289. Um, a very powerful multimeter, that's what I've gathered while searching for a, a good multimeter. This does cost a lot because of our lovely Fluke brand here. <clears throat> but let's see what's inside the box. I've got it from uh, tester.co.uk. It has roughly costed us somewhere around 500 plus quid and that's uh, pounds, sterling pound. <clears throat> and I think uh, what it says on the receipt that it does actually come with a free carrying case there. So let's have a look and see what's in there. <clears throat> let's start my unboxing here. So that should slide out, I guess. There we go. <clears throat> Oh, right, I've got a nice uh, carrying case inside that this thing comes in. What else do we have? Uh, a strap to get this, I'll get this thing aside and get out of the way. Okie dokes, so sort of a nice plasticky. Is that a good stuff? No, I, well. We'll get to find out if it lasts the uh, cruel, harsh environment out there. It's, uh, I think, a fluke branded carrying case. Let's have a look inside. Just pull the way down. Yeah. So there we go. Going green, what does that mean? Okay, paperless option, but they still had to print a paper out to tell us that they're going green, therefore, they're not printing any paper out. Uh, that's interesting. This comes with a calibration certificate. Mm -hmm. so that feels like that's all calibrated by the looks of it. From the United States of America. Nothing's in this side in particular. <coughs> this comes with your uh, multimeter CD-ROM. What supplements have we got? Contains some supplements. <clears throat> Another disc, documentation, and some sort of software. Yes, because this, oh, there we go. That's the lovely meter there in all its glory. <clears throat> so I'm guessing that, uh, well, this meter, uh, one of the reasons I went for this is because this has got the logging capability. It also gives you a nice graph. Uh, you can, you can uh, log things with respect to time. And it's quite rugged, as you can see. Not that sort of plasticky movement feel. It's got a stand, I think. Yeah, there you go. That comes off. Hopefully, I haven't broken it. Yeah. So that can fit in like that. There we go. <clears throat> right. That's a brand spanking new one there um, I think that's the uh, data transfer IR um, adapter thing that goes here okay so again that's a fluke branded one I think so that clicks in there on the other end I've got a USB that plugs into your computer and that comes off the good thing about this is that well, the dial is quite soft uh, the button seems quite rugged. I'm guessing that this comes preloaded with some batteries in there because it does feel a bit heavy. So this thing, the good thing about the dial is that you don't actually have to turn it all the time or whenever you, you're done with the operations or whatever you're trying to do with this meter. Uh, it's got a dedicated power button. So let's give it a first boot. That lights up. And there you go. That powers up straight out of the box. Lovely. A very lovely VGA display on there. I'll get to do some testings on that later on. Uh, that's the backlight. 
it's quite nice it's like three press uh, backlight medium high off and if I want to just turn it off just press the button and it turns off nice uh, so that's two eight and let's see what's inside the box that we've got so that's our data cable if you like oh yes the lovely strap that comes with it uh, that I guess is the strap locking mechanism that slides in here and then you can strap it so that's that right is that I think it's a K type thermocouple that comes with this so that's really handy some rubber feet what's this Oh, jack plugs so two pack for DMM so I think that's to um, plug these jacks here if you're not using them or if you're trying to avoid like uh, the fuses to go off that is an interesting bit of the kit here so what you do I think with this is that's good that this thing is all covered because usually it's not so you can have this locked in place I think that's what I've actually seen on some YouTube videos as well. Then you can use this strap to strap it like that. So you can hold it and then what you can do is you can possibly uh, get this strapped as well. I'm not sure is it the other way around or something like that. And then you can actually hang it and test it while you're having a look at maybe um, a distribution panel or uh, likes of it. <clears throat> it gives you that extra. Oh, there we go. The standard fluke probes. Oh, they get four, get three rated, I think. Yeah, that's quite pointy. Yeah, you can see there. Uh, really nice, especially for some uh, PCB job. Uh, you always have to actually poke in to get a good signal out. <clears throat> What else do we have? Some crocodile clips, nicely insulated, so we don't get any short circuits on either side, uh, which can be a bit of a pain when you're doing some tests and stuff like that. This one there as well. And I think that's that's all what she wrote, uh, and that's all what came in the box with the star of the show there, the Fluke 289. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, give us a give it a good thumbs up. Uh, subscribe and check out my other videos as well. I'll keep on posting some more unboxings and probably do a review of the meter if I get a chance. All right, cheerio, bye.